Hey guys, what is going on? Are we, do we have lighting? I'm not sure if this lighting is acceptable or not, but it's gonna have to like, we're just gonna have to do a, a test. This is gonna be the test if this lighting works or not. Sometimes in darker lighting, I don't want like a really, why is this so uncomfortable? Oh my God, I'm gonna sit on my candy cane pillow. No, I'm not. I'm gonna sit on this pillow. Oh, that feels a little better. I feel like my pants are too tight. Like they're just so tight. Okay, welcome to my bedroom. I've had this urge to film in my bedroom recently and we're just gonna go with it. Yes, we are in my bedroom and it's a little dry. Ugh. But I refuse to not film since my hair and makeup are done. Oh, I broke a nail. Guys, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I need to turn my heat off. That's a fact. Winter is the season of facial sprays. I don't use them any time, any other time of year. But when it starts getting dry, I freaking hate dry air so much. This is amazing. This is the glow recipe. Watermelon glow mist. I love it. Nothing like it. Okay, so today we're talking about new products that I'm excited to use. I decluttered my skincare cabinet. I already posted that video. If you didn't watch it, it's the last video I posted. And while I was doing that, I also, you know, decluttered my skincare cabinet, but then I also put a lot of products that have been in the wings either that have gotten in PR or products that were specifically good for winter that I did not want to use in the summer but now that it is officially winter and is officially disgustingly dry. Can I help Puffy? My dog just jumped. What's wrong Angel? We're just going to talk about new products. So I got a bunch of them. Moisturizer, moisturizer, moisturizer. Oop, that's not closed. Moisturizers. Whoa, lots of moisturizers, moisturizers, serum, moisturizer. These are actually a lot of moisturizers. A lot of moisturizers are present here. So let's just start with cleansers, but I already actually talked about these in my previous video. So I'm not gonna like harp on them, but two new products that I'm really excited about because I love inexpensive cleansing balms that perform really well. The Good Molecules, um, instant cleansing balm and then the Juno skin cleansing balm. Both are similar in the way that they perform. The Juno skin is more, a little bit more soft, I would say. And it also has a little bit of an aroma to it, but it melts out really effortlessly as you can see. Do I need a towel now? That's annoying. That's hella annoying. But luckily I have a towel right here. Okay. It is more of a sorbet texture. And what I mean by that is it feels like it just, it's just like, I don't know. That's the best way to describe it. Can you comprehend that? What I'm saying? This is a little bit more choppy. It's a little more choppy, but still very creamy and also melts down very easily as well. Both are very strong in that department. I think the Good Molecules one melts down a little bit more thin. The thinner, the better for me. I love thin oil cleansers. I just feel like it really helps you get in the nitty gritty spots, all the makeup, dirt, the oil. Okay. Both of these, bomb, bomb.com. This L'Oreal Paris Revitalift 5% Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. I just got this in PR a couple weeks ago and just used it for the last first time last night. And I, first impression, I think it's an amazing, amazing drugstore 5% glycolic. So far, one of the best that I've tried. Not like there's many, there's really none. There's barely any. But I liked that it says 5%, but you feel a tingle, okay? So I did this followed by my Bauer Beauty Peptide Serum and it reactivated this product and it made it tingle a lot, a lot. So I liked that, but I didn't wake up with any irritation. So now the test will be, can I keep using it daily and still get, 
you know, good results without irritation. So I have to see. Well, I said daily, but you know what I'm saying? On a regular basis. You don't want to use this every day. But it has no fragrance. And that's like super exciting. Okay, that was my only toner. Let's talk about my only serum. Something I haven't even opened yet. Yes. Yes. Get excited. Get excited. I think this is new. It is new. I'm so excited. I just... I love the rapid tone repair ones, the ones, the vitamin C ones that I went crazy for. So yeah, I'm just really excited to try these. I should probably take them out of the packaging. Oh my God. I just love how these capsules look. They're very aesthetically pleasing to me and I love Neutrogena's branding, their new branding. I just, whew, I fucking love this. And I would love to layer this under the rapid wrinkle repair moisturizer. That's not too strong. It depends on your skin. It depends on your skin tolerance, whether if it's too strong for you or not. But for me, it's not. Um, okay, let's talk about the sunscreen that I have here, which is I did talk about this in my skincare cabinet video as well. This is Guards Up by Verse SPF 30 Mineral SPF 35 Mineral Sunscreen. This I just absolutely love it. Like the packaging is so cute. First of all, the packaging is amazingly cute, but the formula is very, like it's a fully zinc formula, but it's a slightly peach or slightly nude. And so it doesn't leave a white cast on me and it dries completely matte. And I think if I put it over a moisturizer that's like a little bit more oily, it won't pill as much because it definitely pills, but it dries matte and a lot of products, especially physical sunscreens that dry matte are gonna pill and so if you add a little bit of moisturizer underneath it shouldn't pill as much but i'm really excited about this excited to continue to play with it and use it oh i have one more i have a, one serum we should talk about actually one more this is the skin fix barrier plus serum now you think this would be right up my alley obviously like triple lipid hyaluronate serum but i don't know what the hell happened to the lighting Hello, lighting. That lighting got weird for a minute. Let's zoom in for a minute. Okay, the lighting's a little better. So, I don't know if it's the packaging that just feels a little cheap. Is my hair weird? Is my hair weird? Just be honest. Just be honest, I tried to crimp it and it didn't go well. I think I need to watch a tutorial, which it seems pretty common sense to how to crimp your hair, but I didn't, definitely didn't do a good job. So yes, back to, oopsie, back to this product that I really should love. I just feel like ever since I heard Dr. Dre say, are we, are we good with the lighting? Okay, ever since I heard Dr. Dre say some serums are just lotions, like that's just what this feels like to me. Do you know what I mean? It just literally is like a lightweight lotion. So I'm like, this might be good for summer. I don't know. What am I going to do? Layer it under? I put it in the I'm excited about pile. I am excited to continue using it. It's just if I'm going to get a barrier serum, personally, I think mine's the best. I don't I don't really have a desire to use this over that. And they do the same thing, right? Except mine dries matte. This is going to dry like a little more oily. Um, I don't know. So I have to play with it and put it in rotation and just see how I wind up utilizing it. So anyways, that's that. This I'm super excited to try, which can you believe I'm about to say this? Can you believe I'm about to say this? Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, a cream that I would definitely talk shit about. In general, I would probably talk shit about this cream, but I appreciate beautiful, beautiful art direction and branding and marketing. I appreciate an aesthetic that draws me in. Some aesthetics I obviously am not drawn to, Tatcha for example, but Charlotte Tilbury I am drawn to their extent, aesthetic. However, with skincare, would I ever go out and spend $100 on this? I don't know, I gotta use it and let you know. But the packaging is exquisite. It's obviously a glass component, rose gold top, that is what it looks like. It's a very rich, rich cream. It is slightly fragranced, but yeah, I don't know. I have to use it, but I'm excited to use it. I'm excited to try. This is the perfect season to try this product. Um, yeah. Okay, next. 
This is part of the L'Oreal Revita Lift, Revita Lift line. This is a retinol moisturizer that's completely fragrance free. Everyone's going for these push tops now. Amazon started it. Hashtag Amazon started this, by the way. Um, some of the best selling products on Amazon are in these springboard jars that I personally don't like because the moisturizer and your finger gets wiping on here constantly. And then what? You have to keep wiping every day. You're wiping off the next last dried layer of moisturizer and finger. I don't know. I think it's gross. Anyways, that was a little rant on the component, but I'm very excited about the formula itself. I have not pumped a pump, not even one single pump. Oh, it's a very light watery texture, normal formula type of smell. Yes, it's much waterier than I expected. Pressed night cream with retinol and niacinamide. So it should be brightening. It should be activating our cell turnover. And I like how lightweight it is actually. It's quite emollient. Like, I don't know if you can see how shiny my hand is. Yes, you can. You can see how shiny that is. I'm sure it would absorb a little bit, but anyways. This next product is a product I'm actually afraid to use because it's so rich. What's it called? Eczema Honey. If you didn't, if you saw on my Instagram, if you didn't see on my Instagram, this is what it looks like. It looks like peanut butter and look how thick it is. I just took one thingy out. It's very thick, but it doesn't have any ingredients in here that would necessarily clog your pores. It has it's in a base of grapeseed oil, which sometimes is a little thick for me. So it's a base of grapeseed oil and then they infuse honey into it because honey's the next ingredient. And then aloe after that. So I love that it actually has, and then beeswax. Yeah, I love that it has a humectant though. It's like obviously a thick, thick formula, but it has a humectant in there. Actually spreads out to a reasonable texture. It smells very much like honey, but it spreads out to a really reasonable thickness. It's definitely a night cream that's very emollient. It could be a replacement for like the Egyptian magic. I'm not even gonna call that a moisturizer, but the Egyptian magic cream stuff, it's like an, a solid oil basically, but that will clog my pores, but this might not clog my pores. Nutrient rich, honest, moisturizing, itch, cooling. What kind of labeling is that? Can you read that down there? I don't know if you can read that down there, but that's kind of damn funny. So yeah, all the ingredients look great. Limited ingredients, nothing that should clog the pores. Like I said, grape seeds, maybe, maybe a little bit. So I've been avoiding that, but I really do want to try it. Like it's so dry here, it's crazy. Next is a product that was sent to me probably two months ago or so, and it was it was too warm at the time. Can you even see that? Can you even see this? It's Equilibrium, which is Hourglass's skincare line. And this is the moisturizer. It's a brightening moisturizer. I think niacinamide is like the second ingredient. Other than that, the formula seemed a little basic, and I think this product's like over $100, which I'm just kind of beside myself because this is a very extremely basic component. I don't even think this is glass. This is just like double walled plastic or PET. And the, you know, the um, formula or the text is obviously uh, silk screened on, which is a little pricier, but it doesn't really justify the cost from my perception, right? I don't know what goes in here. I don't know why they're charging so much for this. So I don't know what goes in here. I'm just looking at it. I glanced at the formula. I looked in the formula. I kind of looked a little bit deep into the formula. Like what could be causing this crazy cost? But it was a fairly basic moisturizer. But niacinamide is a, you get a lot bang for your buck. You know what I mean? Like it's like, it's going to do a lot of things and make your skin look amazing. And it's inexpensive, but I don't know if like they're just selling to like the less savvy consumer that doesn't know that. But or if there's some ingredients in here that I'm unaware of that are really expensive, who the hell knows, but I'm telling you it's feels overpriced, but I will say the moisturizer performs really effing well, really, really, really well. So long story short, 
I got this a couple months ago. It was too hot, but I did use it once, but it was too hot to use on a daily basis, but it's richer. You know, it's a richer cream that's not super thick or greasy. So yeah, I put it back in my rotation. I'm excited to, you know, try it. Cause actually it's been a little while since I tried it, but I remember it being good and I remember it being thick. And I was like, I'll use this in winter time. I'm drinking detox tea by Yogi. My quote is compassion is a state of constant giving to the self for others. I don't think that's really empowering. Giving of the self for others, that's not really compassion. Compassion is understanding someone else's perspective and empathizing with them and giving them understanding. I don't know, giving of the self. That just sounds like a martyr. Like we don't want to promote martyrdom. That's not good for anyone. Okay, next is this product by Glossier. It's a retinol moisturizer, and I like night creams that have retinol in them. I was never that girl, but I am that girl now. And on my off days from Tretinoin, I do like using a nice retinol moisturizer, and this one is a great kind of buttery texture, but it doesn't melt down like butter. It's a little bit richer than any of the other, other creams I just swatched, and... I love how it smells like I have to see the ingredients in here. I wanted to see the ingredients just because I was curious, but oh my God, my hair is a disaster. But um, I love the smell of it because it just smells like the natural ingredients and it's a little yellow. So you know that the retinol is in there. And I just, I like that sort of raw experience with formulas. And so yeah, this is really good. And this is just the like, I don't know if this is just still what the packaging it comes in, but it's just like a little lab sample. I just like the rawness of the whole experience in the situation. Okay, next is a cream that I just noticed that I had, and it's called Rich Soak, Rich Moisturizer Cream Skin Soak. And I was like, ooh, that sounds good, you know, for my dry climate with dry skin. So yeah, I used this last night, and it's really nice. It seems to be a just a lightweight, light to medium weight moisturizer that does a good job of moisturizing. This is what it looks like. So it spreads out kind of thin, but no fragrance to it. And seems just like a pretty basic moisturizer, but it's called Skin Soak and that sounded really fun. Okay, next Skin Fix Barrier Plus. So I saw this cream a year ago or so on Sephora's website and ever since then I was just kind of like, how's my lighting my hair? Um, so I saw this product over a year ago on Sephora's website and ever since then I kind of wanted it because it just looked like right up my alley. And so I don't know if it's just, and now I've heard so many people talk about it, how amazing it is and stuff. So I don't know if it's just because of the overhypedness of it or the fact that I've been thinking about it for so long, but when I use it, it's just kind of like, okay, it's nice, but it's not like blowing my mind. Um, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I don't know if it's because it was the first couple pumps or what, but it just, it didn't even seem like that great of a texture, but this texture actually looks really nice. I don't know if it's just because I just used it once, but ooh, this looks really nice. This formula looks kind of like creamy, can you see it? It kind of looks creamy, but like it's gonna absorb fine and not be super greasy. And it actually was exactly that way. And it, my skin looks very nourished in the morning. So I do like it. Again, it comes in one of these pumps, which always gets dirty. This part always gets dirty and I just find it so nasty. I would rather have a jar that I just dip my finger in because when you have this, do you think it's more sanitary? Not unless you alcohol it every single time, which I just don't always have time for. So sometimes I wipe it off with a regular tissue. But think about it. It's like you're taking your finger, you're wiping the top of that off, and then that residue dries, and that's just disgusting. And then next time, what, you're going to wipe your finger in the same shit? Versus if you just dip your finger in the jar just a little bit, there's no residue or anything dried out that's left over. It's just, ugh. 
you know, your moisturizers have preservatives in them um, to prevent bacteria from growing or anything gross from growing. So the only thing you need a pump for is um, to preserve the formula. But in some cases, they don't need to be preserved unless it's like there's an active ingredient in there. And that's just like the reality. So this has 3% triple lipid complex, 3% peptide protein blend, 3% seaweed blend, and 3% <clears throat> lily root extract, whatever that does. I don't know. But yeah, it's cute. I mean, I'll keep it, obviously. I'm excited to continue to try it. This I got really excited about today. I bought this a little while ago and I thought it was too rich, but I used it today because again, the climate, <clears throat> I'm like thinking maybe this is the perfect day cream for this type of climate, right? Because it's a little bit richer and thicker and leaves like a nice protective layer on the skin. But, you know, like for everyday use, I don't know, it felt like a little bit too thick, but today layered under makeup, it was the perfect base for makeup. So I'll show you what it looks like since my, if my camera decides to focus. So it spreads out and leaves maybe a slight white cast, but nothing crazy. And it just is like a little bit of a thicker cream. You can see how it leaves a little sheen on the skin and that sheen doesn't really go away, but it creates a really nice base for makeup. If you use like a little bit more of a matte or, um, silk satin finish a uh, matte or satin finish um skin product so today I did I did use like more of a matte product and yeah it just balances it out really nice and I really liked its SPF 30 it has niacinamide and it's other brightening complex gentle brightening complex I don't know you can tell when I'm getting tired because I'm just like uh believe it or not it's only like it's only seven o'clock it's only seven o'clock, it's crazy, but it's so dark out. Last but not least, Peach and Lily Matcha Antioxidant Matcha Pudding, what's it called? Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. So this has a lot of matcha in it, which makes it green. It also has some sort of citrus extract in it. I use this during the day. That's why I like it. I don't know why I just heard, I think it was the founder of Peach and Lily talking about it one time. And she was just like, yes, I love using it, especially like, you know, when I'm in the city, cause it just has so many antioxidants in it that when you put it on, it just protects you all day. And I was like, Ooh, I like that. I like that idea. At least even if it's, even if it's not real, I don't know if it's real or not, but I like it. And I like that idea and it makes sense logically to me. So I like using this during the day. It's a little bit more emollient than your typical moisturizer. So yeah, I like it for winter daytime use specifically. Is that it? That's it girls. That's it. That's it. Thanks for coming to my new products that I'm excited to use for winter YouTube video. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.